That's great. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Just over a week ago, I made a video about, uh, th there was this person on Twitter who brought up some allegations against Pyrocynical. Now, uh, I'm just gonna say, first of all, if you don't know who Pyrocynical is, he's a commentary YouTuber who blew up way back in 2016, right alongside Leafy, and he has about, like, four and a half million subscribers, so he's, he's very famous, very known in the community, very popular, and he's very respected in this community, and uh, so it, it was a big shock that someone would bring up allegations against him, and the nature of these allegations allegations and some of the things he said it, it made people very skeptical of if these were actually true so there was this person who is now 19 who accused Pyrocynical of uh, grooming them back when they were 15 in 2016 and they said that Pyro uh, had very sexual conversations with them and sent uh, drawn NSFW like artwork and stuff and had like very sexual role plays like extremely extremely sexual role plays and the, the weird things that Pyro had said in these uh in, in the allegations or in the in the screenshots that uh the 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 victim provided it, it led a lot of people to believe that this might be made up it, it seems just a little a little strange so just yesterday on a uh, pyrocynical subreddit he goes on there and he says addressing the false allegations hey gamers i would like to take this opportunity to address a false allegation recently made against me on twitter as some of you may have seen it has been claimed back in 2016 when i was 19 years old that i groomed an individual who was 15 years old at the time i want to set the record straight with you all and share the truth this accusation is 100% false and incredibly irresponsible. I'm not denying that in the past I took part in conversations with others that many of you will understandably consider to be weird and distasteful. Probably an understatement, it was careless of me not to consider who was behind the roleplay slash art sharing and I take full accountability. But these exchanges never amounted to anything other than fantasy roleplay. I have never sent or solicited nude or in real life content. I have never tried to engineer an illicit encounter or lure anybody into anything. I've never built a dialogue, connection, or relationship with the intention of manipulating or exploiting anyone. This was even confirmed by Ivory himself in an interview. He never at any point stated that he felt uncomfortable, and if he did, I never would have continued to message and respond to him. Every exchange between Ivory and I was fully consensual and reciprocal. Uh, uh, reciprocal. He never once disclosed uh, the fact that he was 15 at the time these exchanges commenced. He didn't include his- Include? What the hell am I saying, dude? He did not include his age in his bio until he was 16, but I was not on Twitter between 28th of December 2016 until the 29th of June 2017 as I was suspended. Moreover, individuals have since come forward contending that Ivory would be disingenuous about his age to proactively gain entry into other fantasy roleplay groups. I am really confused by Ivory's inconsistency. There is evidence to suggest that he is engaged in fantasy roleplay with another individual similar in age to me. This individual was also not aware of Ivory's age at the time, but in this particular example, it was Ivory who very much initiated and directed the roleplay. After Ivory alleged that I groomed him, uh, this individual then reached out to him to apologize for any hurt he may have inadvertently caused him, to which Ivory responded, no, you're fine, I don't care. Why does he not care in this instance? Why does he remain unaffected by a similar interaction with others, yet feel the need to single me out and character assassinate only me on social media? Furthermore, if he is as angry, confused, and sad as he claims to be, why has he been in friendly contact with me right up until September of this year. During the interview mentioned earlier, he was confronted with evidence that he sent kink art to someone else. He initially claims it was him, but then backtracks claiming he has no recollection. I am not here to personally attack anyone, I just want to clear my name. Being falsely accused has been extremely stressful and it is such a serious issue. I feel it has to now be addressed. All this being said, I would kindly ask my fans to not call out Ivory nor direct any negativity his way. I don't want to play any part in fueling or perpetuating hate. I just want to share the truth, close this chapter, move forward and return to doing what I love, making unfunny videos. So, he claims that the allegations of the fact that he groomed Ivory are false, and I agree with him on this because this was not actually grooming if he had no intention to actually establish any connection. You know, between him and Ivory, he didn't, he didn't, he wasn't trying to like seek out something more. He wasn't trying to manipulate Ivory into having a physical relationship someday or trying to get Ivory to send him nudes, anything like that. There was no, there was no progression 
discussion. There was no, like, end goal or anything like that. It was literally just roleplay. So he claims that that part is false, that he groomed Ivory, but he admits to everything in these DMs and in, in these accusations actually happening, though. All the conversations, all the very, very strange uh, roleplay with uh, some very, very strange texts being sent. I'm gonna put them up on screen. If you want to read them, you can. You can pause the video. So yeah, if what he's saying is completely true, then he didn't do anything illegal, but he definitely did some stuff that's pretty weird, I'd say. Um, definitely, definitely some, uh, some strange stuff that the average person would not partake in. But yeah, that's pretty much it with the Parasonical allegations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I am very close to hitting 1.5 thousand subs, and any support really is amazing, and I really appreciate it. Also, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on the video and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload or a stream. And if you want to follow me on other social media, I have a link to your link in the description below. There you can find my Twitter, Instagram, and a link to my Discord server. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Dreams, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.